Hey, what's up guys? Weekly Light here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another update um, notice for pit people. So this uh, update is um, Update 5A, Infinite Wisdom Hotfix, and it says, Apparently people are not fans of getting lost, so we installed a GPS on your wagon. You will now see the way home on the world map at all times, because wagons have GPS signals. Everyone knows that. So that's nice. I remember before there was the home thing, but then they got rid of it. So now it'll be easier to get back without having to figure out where you are on the map. Um, for some new players, the cost of the initial expansions in their home felt too high, especially after spending all their gold on cages. Well, not anymore, we hope. We have more details about our hotfix below. So for the change list, design and visual, um, slowed the Octoclops spawn rate for the Chog Story quest in solo. So this is really nice. Uh, if you guys remember back when I fought Chog solo, I complained a lot about the Octoclopses spawning too frequently. So I'm glad that they fixed that. Um, change the team slot cost in the house, now 300 and 550 gold to unlock. Um, I don't remember it being too big of a pain, I remember it being like, not having enough to unlock the third slot before, but then I just did a couple of quests and then I had enough, so I don't, I guess it's good for those permadeath players who have to keep restarting new save files. Um, so home icon in the world map has been added back in, so that's nice, I sort of missed that. Glad it's returning. Um, balance changes. Small drop on flat damage of troll minis and snake minis. And small dro drop on flat status per ch chance per level that were granted. So it seems like they're um, nerfing the minions and nerfing um, like status damage, I guess. Which is good, I guess. Because um, those didn't require too much strategy and they just swarm people like crazy. Um, so for programming, added metrics tracking during battles where the player chooses to exit or restart, fixed pillow throw animation, added additional music track for streamer friendly setting, double chance of getting colored shaky or wavy random names for gladiators. Now this is a really nice change because those colored shaky or wavy names are a lot nicer than just the standard names. And then fixed crash when two local users started an online session on Xbox One. One. Um, yeah, so that seems nice. All these uh, fixes seem to be pretty good and uh, positive direction for the game. Hopefully an update 6 will come out soon with more story missions. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe for more Pit People content.